for you guys, for foreign guys. That's the golden time to get your dream Ukrainian wife. But as I said, you should be double careful because as it was before, what mostly pushes our women to go abroad to look for foreign husband? Poverty, financial non-stability, the attitude of local Ukrainian guys, right? Their opinion, the mindset that foreign European, Western, American guys are better husbands than Ukrainian ones. Of course, bad experience here with local guys. So all those factors actually pushed our ladies to look for foreign husband before war. Now it's another reason. A lot of couples actually divorced. They are apart. Uh, I read some posts in psychological groups when really wives of soldiers, some of them whose couple were really strong, they really have like a, you know, another refreshment of uh, of their relationship, right? They're looking for meetings for these short accidental meetings. They have bright sexual uh, life when they manage to meet for one day or for a few hours sometimes. But at the same time, a lot of girls, a lot of women claim that uh, the relationship between her and her husband who is fighting right now absolutely cooled down. And um, they are looking for meetings, for these short accidental meetings. They have bright sexual uh, life when they manage to meet for one day or for a few hours sometimes. But at the same time, a lot of girls, a lot of women claim that uh, the relationship between her and her husband who is fighting right now absolutely cooled down. And... Um, spoiled totally spoiled so at the from one side we see a lot of new newly wedded couples a lot of new relationship dates marriages but another side shows the statistic shows that a lot of separations quarrels fights etc and i can tell you i know a lot of girls who moved abroad doesn't matter what country, like even like Poland, Czech Republic, Hungary, uh, of course, in the status of refugee, but they decided to stay there. Some of them comes back, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because have some deal like property, like relatives, like mom and dad, you know, uh, to finish some deals, to complete some documents, you know, to do something. But most of them, who already lived abroad for one year, one year and a half, they start to get used there. The people, the women specifically, who already actually, you know, <clears throat> understood and realized that there is nothing better than Ukraine, than their motherland, actually self-sufficient women who had business here, who had good job here, who has property here, which is not damaged, by the way, you know, who has a lot of friends, who has some quite stable social position, I can tell you, these people will try mostly, not all, of course, but mostly, they will try to come back to restart, to renovate their business and etc., you know, to do something else. But a lot of people tried, who tried already, another lifestyle, another model of life, who start to feel finally, finally, some stability, so some confidence in tomorrow, they, of course, will try to anchor in Europe. And for this, of course, they need good, prosperous, reliable, faithful men. That's why some girls, of course, will try to find by themselves, maybe, but just some coincidence or, you know, like, occasion, but some really, uh, as you know, statistics say, a lot of women start to register at matchmaking companies, trying to find as soon as possible some really good men who has serious intentions to start dating, 
to create a family and to stay in the country forever. I mean, not, not specifically in Poland, the Czech Republic. Of course, you can bring her to New Zealand, to Australia, to USA, to Denmark, to Germany, to Bulgaria, whenever you want. But I mean in Europe. So a lot of women almost don't have a chance to come back and they will have to assimilate. They will have to learn language. They will have to, you know, to understand the lifestyle, the system of life, which is used to be in Europe. And all these women, of course, and uh, I believe uh, there is quite a big, quite a high percentage of such women, of course, they will try to find the men. But in this case, as I said, please be careful. First of all, your desire to help, that's understandable because you're mostly kind-hearted and everything, but be careful because of real uh, reasons. First of all, chemistry. First of all, chemistry. You know how to distinguish already if the lady really likes you, so and then go ahead but for you i guess it's uh, the real chance right now because also the procedure of getting married with foreigner even abroad is much 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 more simpler it's absolutely much easier and cheaper right now to get your lady to your country by any means i mean by air flight by bars by ship whatever so right now it's much cheaper and much easier to do so actually that can sound strange but for you guys that's the golden time period uh and you should use this chance who still plans don't postpone it on after war period that's it guys hello everybody thanks for coming i hope everybody has a great saturday today nice weather good time Top G Mindset Coach, Victory Day is coming. Hello, hello. Why you think so? You have some news? Uh, I don't think, I don't think it's coming. But maybe you have some other news or some thoughts, some insight. I don't think uh, the Victory Day is coming uh, soon. Because in some areas, the situation is getting tensed much more, getting worse. Even from some parts of Sumi region, some people are forcibly being evacuated right now because the situation is really dangerous. It was always dangerous, but now they, are, they don't have any mercy. They just shoot on colleges, on schools, on kindergartens, on administrative buildings, residential houses. They also always have been doing this, but now they got crazy because of Belgorod, situation in Belgorod. And of course, we are answering back. That's understandable already. So, yeah, I guess soon probably will be another wave of people who will move abroad, women mostly, right? So we'll see. We'll see what, what happened. What, what, привет, привет, what, 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 Frank Marks, hello, guys. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Hi, hi. Mm -hmm. Tom, good morning, Angel Vita and Match Guarantee Brothers. Hello, Tom. Your flowers still next to me, smelling absolutely awesome. So I will try to duplicate, duplicate this bouquet as a memory. Yeah, Gregory, hello, nice to see you. Scott Young, hi, hi, hi. Thanks for coming. And yeah, Gregory. And, okay, your question. Vita, for those Ukrainians that living abroad and at some point can find stability and new success in life abroad, I would encourage them to stay abroad for a go reason. What do you mean, a go reason? What do you mean for a go reason? Yeah, I mean, I understand what you mean. Yeah, and I can tell you, really, a lot of people will stay abroad. Really, a lot of people. Lots of people lost their relatives, their business their property so already get used to live there already found some job some accommodation used to plan their budget learn the language invested a lot of finances efforts time nerves emotions in trying to accustom 
you know, to live there. So that's why, of course, when the person thinking, should I stay or should I go, people sometimes don't know already what to do here because no job prices are like crazy oh my god last time i can tell you i came back from marketplace absolutely desperate absolutely i bought the chicken uh just ordinary chicken for my kids because they like chicken mostly and i bought the piece of lard you know sala i paid honestly 20 dollars for just one chicken and piece of lard uh, I don't know if that's a good price for you guys in Europe or in America. But, you know, for us, it's incredibly huge amount of money. $20 for just chicken, which kids can eat in two days, in two, three days, just for supper, right? And lard, it's not the food. It's just, you know, do it together, accompanied with borscht. Or sometimes when you're really hungry and you don't have time to cook something so you can get some piece of lard or salad with some bread and that's it just you know to kill uh your hunger you know and then to work to continue working so that's not like i mean you cannot eat it like piece of meat or something right so the price is like oh my god besides they want to increase or they increased already the prices for electricity three times bigger oh my god like, for example, if you paid like $10 per month, now you, you're going to pay $30 per month. But the incomes of people getting smaller and smaller and the price is getting higher and higher. I, I really don't know how people now, uh, no, I know how, I know how because uh, I'm also almost in the same situation. I'm living here trying to survive. It's really hard times. And of course, even Ukrainian women, who live in more or less safe places, they also will start looking right now to the side of Europe and uh, foreign countries because it's really hard to live here, to plan something. You never know. And every day different surprises. It's really difficult. So that's why, guys, get ready to open your arms, your hugs, to invite your lady and i guess if you're dating already with someone or online communicating don't postpone it because i can tell you war can be for a long time it can be one more year but the rules will be more and will be getting more and more strict i will give you an ordinary example last year when it was you know wave of evacuating people uh, so all people took their animals, their pets with them. It was absolutely no restrictions at the border control. You can bring abroad hamster, rat, mouse, dogs, cats, 10, 20, how much you want. And nobody asked you even for passports, even for cheap, even for vaccination, just nothing. Just save the animals and go. Right now, since March 27, it's absolutely strict rules. So you can't move easily your animal abroad. Now they demand all the package, necessary package for the animal, full package of vaccination, international and pet passport, this special F1 paper um, that just for today animal is healthy, cheap also, and also these titers for you know, this um, very bad disease. I don't remember. R -r -r -r. Probably, you know. So it should be vaccinated and have like analysis with a quarantine, like for three months, only after that. Then after the first wave of evacuation, the rules were more strict in the summer, in the autumn. So you could have like halfly completed package of all these documents and half papers, half procedures you could do just right at the borderline, at the border control. They have these laboratories, veterinary, and you could do even vaccination or chip just at the border control. Right now, no chance for that. So the same situation will be with people. If before people were crossing the road, even without passports, just in there, how they were in pajamas, you know, without permission from fathers, anything. Right now, 
rules every day getting more strict and strict and strict. So don't lose your time. Don't lose your time. <clears throat> Yannick, hello. Thanks for coming. Tom, people do what is necessary to survive. Absolutely. This can cause them to compromise their beliefs. Very good comment, Tom, and I will give you an example right now. Unfortunately, there are others that will take advantage of this. Shame on them. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, guys. Yeah. And I can tell you uh, a lot of... You remember, and you know, I never told that Ukrainian nation is the prime nation and only good people and honest people. You know, I'm a very objective person and always discussing with you not only good sides but bad sides uh, of our nationality as well because I don't want to be a liar. A lot of scammers, not only in dating, in dating scene, in dating, you know, just in ordinary life, a lot of scammers, a lot of cruel people, a lot of thieves. And of course, some people can take, some ladies can take advantage of you. So you should be careful here. I can tell you about absolutely horrible case which happened last week in Chernigiv, guys. Uh, the whole family was killed. And I don't know the English word, like unpotted. So all body parts apart, mom, dad, and the child. These people were uh, traveling from Chernigiv to another city to buy a car. They had money with them, and somebody knew about that. And some people stopped them in the forest, caught them in the forest. The fights start to be arguing. And then absolutely horrible accident happened. By the way, it was it were two men and a woman. And a woman. It's shame for me to announce that among Ukrainian women can be such monsters because I don't know other word to give to this woman in brackets. And uh, by the way, the woman killed the child herself because mom was trying to protect the child, covering with her body, and she took the child and cut with knife. It was absolutely horrible accident. These people are caught right now. By the way, the, this woman, she's the daughter of a very rich and very famous woman. And her mom now tried to buy her freedom but I don't know who should be trying to protect in such an ugly creature which actually doesn't have right to, to live anymore on this earth. Killing child for money, being a daughter of a rich woman, it's horrible. It's horrible. And another example, Tom, uh, regarding your comment. I watched a lot of interviews of Ukrainian women who lived in occupied territories. And of course, it's very easy for us to judge. To judge. For me, I can tell you when we were occupied and blocked, that was the biggest nightmare to be occupied completely and to stay living under, under the occupation of this devils that was my biggest nightmare you know and of course i understand such women who live in occupied territories right now like part of Kherson region part of donetsk lugansk region part even of um, zaporizhia region sometimes they have to deal they have to you know to sell their consciousness in order to protect their child, like uh, I saw the interview of women from Uglidar, if I'm not mistaken, where the nuclear power station, Ukrainian power station, and these assholes completely make it dangerous day by day. They put some explosion stuff, they torturing employees, and they actually torturing absolutely 
the people who are living, citizens of this city and nearby villages, people are starving there. They, they are absolutely in humanitarian disaster, catastrophe. They don't have water, they don't have job, they don't have money, all their cards blocked, they don't get any money. And they give food, like humanitarian help, only for those who will change passport for Russian or who will deal with them and who will give some news, some facts about Ukrainian forces, their positions, or something like that, who will send kids to their summer recreation camps. And the stories are really awful. These women constantly crying. They feel absolutely ashamed because it seems like they sold their country, their principles, their ideas, their heart. But from another side, I can understand that people will do everything to protect and to save the child, no matter what. I mean mothers, or maybe fathers as well, yeah. But the situation is really, really, really catastrophic in some occupied territories. So, Tom, you are completely right. Some people will compromise their beliefs their ideas, and will do everything, everything for their families. Unfortunately, we have what we have. We can just pray and wish that all those occupied territories would be would have set free as soon as possible. And people and families will be united again, and people can start breathing, you know, can get start, can start getting some help. Rene. Vita, do you feel a single Ukrainian woman will lower her expectation standards when choosing a foreign man considering the current situation in Ukraine? Probably, possibly, yeah. Uh, because the woman in this despa uh, desperate woman, the woman is in desperation, in need, of course, will lower her expectations, her demands just, you know, to get at least something. But don't hope for that too much because that still depends on psychological type of a specific woman. Some women will do, definitely, because the woman in need, as I said, will be ready for everything. I don't think that, honestly, you need really desperate woman if you are in love with her and if she is in love then that's fine but if some guys would like to you know to try their chances uh based on um, desperation of woman i don't think that will work out yeah okay she will be thankful okay she will be less demanding less insistent, more obedient, probably more silent, just being thankful for what she has a roof and that her child is in the safe safety right now and uh, she has some social position. But, you know, that's not the system which will bring love into your family. No. Everything, first of all, all relationship should be based on love, respect, trust, and friendship. Four basic things, you know, which will carry your relationship always happy and successful. So, but if if to answer exactly on your question, yes, I guess, yes, I guess a lot of women will be ready for, you know, to lessen their demands, just to get everything, just to get there, to stay there. Yeah, they will be like more scared, you know, more in need, and of course, that will influence their decision, definitely, yeah. But I'm not uh, propagandizing here to choose desperate women, okay, because desp desperate women also can use you. She may lower her criteria, her demands, but at the same time, when she will be fine, she may use you too. So that's, the not, that's not the case you need, I guess, in your life. So don't misunderstand me. So, uh, Vita, are Ukrainian women more likely to stay in Europe? Or do us guys from the USA or Australia have a chance to get a woman to move to our country? Absolutely, of course. Because, you know, America is like a dreamland for many people. So that absolutely, actually, that won't really matter. You know, if you will start communicating and if there is a chemistry between you guys, 
so then why not of course definitely if she likes you if she loves you maybe uh she won't stay in poland and refusing to go to usa right so or australia that that actually doesn't matter so all countries developed countries are welcome and uh, that's not a problem absolutely the main is what in what is between you so guys i have to go i love all of you i wish good and perfect saturday i will see you tomorrow same time 4 p.m ukrainian time which is 9 a.m eastern time okay and uh, yeah for somebody good night brendan yeah for somebody's good morning and uh, don't forget of course to support us and our channel goodbye and have a great day guys bye bye <laughs>